Hello students, welcome to the physics session. Today we are going to learn a new topic under the theme of magnetism. The topic is called mag making a magnet. Now we had already learned different properties of magnets, right? We know how magnets behave. Now we learned in one of the investigation that we can even convert a magnetic substance into a magnet. We had used a method to do so. But there are various methods to make a magnet. We are going to learn that in this topic. So to make a magnet, the method we had already learned was the single touch method. Apart from that single touch method, the other methods that can be used to magnetize a magnetic substance is one divided touch method and another one is double touch method. Now we are going to learn each of these methods in following slides. So let's begin with our first one that is the single touch method. For the students you need to have such an arrangement. Now what we have in this arrangement, we have a steel bar. This is nothing but a magnetic material that we need to or want to magnetize. Apart from this, to magnetize a magnetic material into a magnet, we need a permanent magnet. That means a magnet which is itself a magnet, nobody or nothing has magnetized it. Right? So, in this case, we are using a permanent magnet that is a bar magnet. Now, we already know a magnet always exists with both the poles. So, let's say the north south pole is in this end which is near to the specimen we have and the north pole is opposite to it. Now, you can also have a setup in which the arrangement is just opposite to what we have here. In the single touch method students, in the single touch method, what we do, we take our specimen, that is the steel bar in this case, we place it on a table so that it does not move, we take our permanent magnet and incline and keep it in touch with our specimen. So let's say I have my pencil here, that is my permanent magnet and let's say this is my steel bar. Now, if I have to magnetize the steel bar, I am going to use my permanent magnet, that is in this case my pencil. Okay, let's say the tip of the pencil is the south pole and the last end of the uh, pencil is the north pole. In this case, I am starting to magnetize my magnetic material using my south pole. So, I place my tip of the south pole over the steel bar. Then, as you can see in the figure, the movement is given using arrows. That means you have to make the magnet move over the steel bar. So, in this case, you will keep your south pole, you will just go around it, you will pick your magnet, come back to the first position and then again start with this. Then again come back with the first position and again start with this. So, to magnetize your steel bar, you have to repeat your shifting of the magnet over the steel bar multiple times. As you do so, you will observe that even your magnetic substance is converted into a magnet. Now, when it converts into a magnet, you know that all the magnets have both the poles north and the south pole. Right, student? So, in this case, first we magnetize the material from one side. Let's say this was my upside of the steel bar. I magnetized it using my magnet. Then I'll turn it and I again do this for the other side of the magnet. Doing this, I am assuring that my steel bar is converted into the magnetic material I want. Now, in this case, in the case of single touch method, the pole that is used to do the multiple shifting over my specimen is the pole that the magnetic substance develop on the side. That means I started from the tip of this, I used my south pole. That means the tip of my pen becomes the south pole. On the other hand, the other edge becomes the north pole. So, in this case, the specimen develops the poles 
on it as the magnet used to convert it into it into a magnet okay so this is the permanent magnet that i use so do if you do not get confused i am writing permanent magnet here this specimen converts into a magnet the poles are according to which side of the or which pole of the magnet i am using to convert my magnetic material into the magnet this is called students the single touch method so to underline just what the single touch method tells me i had got one statement out of your books the statement says in the specimen of single touch method gets magnetized its starting end so let's say i'm drawing my steel bar specimen here we were using steel so the specimen the starting end where we had started putting the north and the south pole either of those in this case we use the south pole right so from the starting point it gets the same polarity as the polarity of the magnet that means if it is south the polarity that develops on my steel bar will be south pole on that side and the polarity at the other end that means this end students will get the opposite polarity that means it will get magnetize at north pole okay students so this is my single touch method what about the other methods we learned there was another method that was called divided touch method now as you can see this is the arrangement in divided touch method in divided touch method we take our specimen this is my specimen okay now my specimen has to be a magnetic material that is for sure i can only convert a magnetic substance into a magnet i cannot convert a non magnetic substance into a magnet so my specimen has to be anything that is a magnetic material so it can be made up of iron steel cobalt anything that i can or or i want to convert it into a magnet so in this case again we need two permanent magnets and one magnetic material right that's what we are going to do with this experiment in this experiment this is called divided touch as we use two different that is number 1 and number 2 magnets and we do the same thing that we did in single touch but with the same specimen using two magnets we divide my specimen let's say in the middle and i use the two magnets as shown here with the same thing we were doing in the single touch that means we with one pole we are drawing the pole over and over the specimen in one direction as shown here with the arrows right i am just rubbing it so that you can be more clear with the students as this black lines are shown to you the arrows are already drawn here right that means from the middle we are using two different magnets on both sides and we are doing the single touch method on both the sides okay now what we are doing in this the specimen we are using two different polarities so you can see in this let's say i am dividing my specimen from the middle right now you are actually using the single touch method on both the sides of the magnet on one side you are using the south pole and you are repeating the rotation over and over and over and on the other side you are using the north pole and then you are repeating over and over and over so in this case the polarity that the specimen develops is not the same polarity as in the single touch method students in this case the polarity developed on the specimen bar that means by steel bar will be opposite to the single touch method that means if i am using south pole to do the over and over process then my specimen develops north pole on the other hand if i am using the north pole my specimen develops south pole so this case we are using two magnets now even to get more magnetization even to get a stronger magnetization of the steel bar we can place two permanent magnets on the below of the magnetic material so that we cannot we do not have to flip our magnets to do so in this case we are using the magnets with the same polarity that we are using to rotate over the magnet that means if i am using the south pole i am going to keep the south pole in the under the 
steel bar and on the other hand if i'm using the north pole to magnetize my magnet uh, magnetic material then i'm going to use the north pole beneath the steel bar so to just mention what we actually learned above is that the specimen is turned over and the other side is also magnetized in the same way to summarize what we had learned let's under understand what is written here in this case as opposite to the single touch method because in single touch the polarity develops as the magnetic pole used to go over and over but in divided touch what happens the end of the specimen where the south pole of the bar magnet leaves becomes the north pole that means opposite poles develop on the steel bar on the other hand the end of the specimen where the north pole of the bar magnet leaves it becomes the south pole so in this case we get two opposite pole as we use for the bar magnet now let's learn the last method that is the double touch method this method is just an improvised version of the divided touch method it does all the things that the divided touch method does that means it also uses two permanent bar magnets and one specimen that we need to mag magnetize that means one magnetic material but instead of these two things it also uses a non magnetic material that divides or that separates the two magnets used to magnetize my magnetic material so let's say this is my magnetic material this is my permanent magnet that we were talking about my two permanent magnets but what happens in this that we separate the two using a non magnetic material fine students so a wooden strip is used to separate the two non uh, two magnets from each other we again use two different poles to magnetize the two parts divided from the middle of the magnetic material and what we do in this case we do not pick the magnet but we do a motion such that let's say this is my magnetic material this is my wooden separation then to magnetize this i'm not picking the magnet and moving it i am making the magnet go like this without even picking the magnet or losing the touch ever this kind of magnetization this type of converting a magnetic material into a magnet is called double touch method even in this method to get a stronger magnet or to get a stronger magnetic field you can use two more magnets with the same polarity as in case of magnetic material if you are using south pole of the magnet to convert the magnetic material you will again use the south pole in the under the magnetic material same if you are using north pole you will have the north pole under the magnetic material so this is just an improvised version of the divided touch method now to summarize even this we have a statement here the statement tells us <clears throat> the polarities on the end of the specimen are the opposite nature now as we already told as in divided touch method the polarity develops is opposite so if i have my magnetic material let's say and i am using south pole on one side and north pole on one side in this case i have a wooden piece separating them then my polarity of the steel bar will be opposite that means the one with the south pole develops the north pole and the one with the north pole develops the south pole so the polarities on the ends of the specimen are of the opposite nature of that of the nearer poles now for stroking the magnet for strong magnetization the specimen is mounted on two permanent magnets now we know that two get strong magnetization we use two permanent magnets even below my magnetic material so this is how the double touch method is used to magnetize a non sorry a magnetic material into a magnet okay students thank you